handed down to Applegate from buccaneers who fought for years for gold doubloons and pieces of eight. Handed down in a pirate's chest, the gold they sailed for east and west, the treasure bright that made men fight, till none were left to bury the chest. So now the gold and pieces of eight all belong to Applegate. The chest is here, but wait. Now where are those gold doubloons and pieces of eight, pieces of eight, pieces of eight? <laughs> Today's episode in the mystery of the Applegate treasure, a golden clue. All right, all right, I'm coming. Hello. Oh, oh, it's you. There's nothing wrong with being me, Gertrude. I'm sorry, Silas. But after all that's been going on in this town... Whatever has happened hasn't been any of my doings, has it? Of course not. It's those nephews of yours that have been responsible. Jack Lee here saw them all driving downtown together, following a police car. The boys were with their father, that is. And their car was following the police. With bowls, tell her. Well, if it means anything, Fenton sent word that they were on their way down to find out about a confession. That's all. Wait a minute. If that man Bold is confessing... What's that? Let me have that phone. Let go. Goodbye, Silas. Gertrude, hello. Listen, lady, we just thought you might know something. She hung up. What's going on? What do you suppose Bowles is telling them? She says he went down to the jail. Yeah, we even got to go inside. Well, what happened? Did he really confess? Oh, well, I made him admit that he's the one that took our pick and shovel and did all that digging, and I mean all of it. Didn't I, Frank? You see, Bowles wanted to get us into trouble, but he didn't want us snooping around Applegate's, maybe finding out what he was doing there. Is that all? Ask him. He's telling it. Well, nobody else could get anything out of him. Frank's just jealous because he's not as good a detective as I am. But when I started talking about those shoes, and when I looked him right into the eyes... Did he start shivering? Did he? Well, sister, you could sure see how guilty he was. Oh, I wish I could have been there to see you make him squeal. Oh, Joe, I am so proud of you. Oh, why, oh, well, why don't you ever go home or something? That is all... Isn't it? Oh, of course not. I'll think of plenty of other ways to trap that crook. Hooray for Sherlock Holmes. Listen here, you. Ah, skip it. Now, oh, wait a minute. You gotta admit, that's all Bowles did say. So maybe we're out of trouble, but that doesn't do any good for our client. Who? Me. What of it? Or solve any mysteries about the Applegate treasure, either. He just told you he'd think of some more traps for everybody. You two are just soreheads, because Joe's smarter than you are. Will you go home? What? If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a bragger. Hey, you know, come to think of it, when you said all that stuff about the shoes, Bowles really did start shaking. Oh, lay off. Only why? Why would he all of a sudden talk? You didn't really say anything to make him. I said more than you said. Well, I mean, I never claimed I got a whole confession, did I? Maybe it was the shoes themselves. Huh? Maybe for some reason Bowles didn't want us to look at the shoes. That doesn't make any sense. You be quiet. He's the great detective. All right, so I'm a bragger. So I'm sorry. What else do I got to say? Let's go back and get those shoes. Huh? Hey, sure. Well, come on. Let's go. Wait. 
You guys crazy or something? What's this all about? Where do we find out for ourselves? trespassing. If we go in the bull's room... Look, the house belongs to the landlady, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, if, if she invites us in, that's not trespassing, is it? I don't know. She sure didn't look very inviting. We'll get in somehow. Joe, we just have to see those shoes. Coming, I'm coming. But the shoes aren't hers. We can't just take them. All I want to do is look at them. There's got to be something fishy. Remember how anxious Bulls was to get rid of them and get into his tennis shoes? Yeah, yeah, I know. But what could be fishy about a pair of shoes? I don't... Shh, here she comes. Frank, what are you going to say? I don't know. If you could keep her busy for a while, maybe I could... Yeah? Oh, run along. We don't want no subscriptions. No, wait, please. Uh, madam? Uh, I've lost my knife. What? Oh, you're the two boys that was here with them cops. Well, well. See, it, it was a Boy Scout knife, and the leather punch was broken. It was? Yeah, we thought maybe you'd let us go up into Mr. Bull's room and look around. Oh. Oh, you mean for your knife? Yeah. No, I ain't seen it. Oh, well. Wait a minute. Where will I put my broom away? That's funny. I didn't say I lost it here. Seems like it was at the beach last summer when... All right, all right. So Joe Hardy never lies. But when we get upstairs... Boys! Hurry up, boys. I ain't got all day. We're coming, ma'am. Hope your feet ain't dirty. I've just been sweeping. I don't think your pocket knife's up here. You mean sweeping in Mr. Bowles' room? Do you clean all of his things for him? Clean for Mr. Bowles? Oh, my, no. Not when he's in jail. I wouldn't want him thinking I'd go through any of his things. Not after all that treasure talk. Uh, uh well, I, I guess he understands why the police have to look around. I don't know where Joe left that night. Oh, I guess Dad left the bureau drawer open. Well, I certainly wouldn't come snooping. Boy, sure a dirty handkerchief. That's a dust cloth, not a handkerchief. Just don't you boys go making a mess in here. You hear me? Boy, you should have got rid of her fast. Did you do something? Come on. Here, stand guard. Here they are. Why? What are you going to do? I don't know. Looks just like a plain shoe to me. Nothing inside. Give me the other one. I got it. Hey, Frank, maybe we ought to take them both home with us. Find it, boys. <laughs> what? I mean, no. I didn't sweep there in the closet. Nothing but an old pair of shoes, as I remember. Oh, he's looking now. <laughs> we'll be out of here in just a minute. Oh, but not without a piece of cake and some milk. <laughs> what? Then maybe you boys and me could have a little talk about that treasure. Treasure? Now, now, don't you pretend. 
I heard your father and all them talking about stolen doubloons when you was here before. Oh, that was quite some time ago, ma'am. Of course it was. But there's something new about it now, ain't there? Oh, wow. You see, we don't exactly know. <laughs> and if there is such a thing as hidden gold any place, I sure wouldn't mind helping you look for it. <laughs> oh, see, really, I mean... Honest, ma'am. We don't know anything about any gold that's hidden. And that's not a lie, either. Then why are you taking them shoes? Um, come on, Joe. Oh, you give me them. Joe, catch! You! Oh, 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 come back here! Come back here, you... Joe, catch it! It's a note or something. Episode, the final search.